Hello gamers and welcome back to another Hypixel Scott Block video. As you might have noticed, this video is by far the longest and for good reason. It took me basically two weeks of grinding to finish it and an extra five days to edit it. So if you end up enjoying it and you're part of the 70% who is not subscribed, I would really appreciate it. But anyways, basically one month ago I hit 30,000 subscribers and I said this, I really suck at making special videos, but I might make something if I get the rank. And today, I finally got it. No, I didn't. But honestly, I'm tired of waiting. And I don't want to make you guys wait any longer, so today is the day. And when I said special, I meant it. This video is going to have more grinding than any of my previous videos. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, hey, I haven't seen you around in a while. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. When you said more grinding, you weren't talking about... Oh yeah, it's Cultivating 9 time. A couple of months ago, I made a video about getting Cultivating 8 on 5 of my tools. That alone took like 4 days. Now, I have every single farming tool there is, and some of these don't even have a million crops on them, like the cactus and the mushrooms. Cultivating 8 only took 5 million crops on each one of my tools, but Cultivating 9 is not 5 million, not 10 million, but 20 million crops on every single farming tool there is. I already hate this, with two exceptions, because when I was grinding to get my wheat hoe to tier 3, I got this to cultivate a 9. And when my co-op accidentally deleted a Gauss Carrot hoe, he grinded carrots for days and got this to cultivate a 9 basically by himself. I barely helped. So I only have to worry about 5 hoes and 3 axes. But getting all the tools to cultivate a 9 is not the only thing I'll be doing in this video. I'm gonna rebuild a third of my farms. When I look at this, it's beautiful. It's organized, it's nice looking. But then I go down here and it's just... it's a mess. I mean, to be fair, it kind of looks nice in its own way, but... I can't have this and that on the same island, so this has to go. Before I start grinding, I'm gonna have to rebuild my potato farm, my pumpkin farm, and my sugarcane farm. And also clean this up, I have a lot of items in these chests. And I'm gonna have to move my minion setup somewhere else. Which gets me to the third goal of the video, to finally get farming 60. And honestly, I kinda need to do this anyways. In my last video, I spent everything I had on getting actually good gear. Most of my purse isn't even mine, actually. The winners for the giveaway from last time are yet to be picked, so that's why I still have the 30 million. Oh, I'm already farming 59, and I'm like one third of my minions. Wait, did I just... Oh, I just got mine in 49. One last thing before we get to destroying the old farms. I don't want all of this stuff to go to waste, so we're gonna harvest everything and drain them of the water before we destroy them, because uh, if we don't do that, the water is gonna make everything 20 times harder. I'm gonna let my co-op harvest the pumpkins while I harvest the potatoes using my cactus knife, because it and the fungi cutter are the only hoes that don't have replenish. And since this is going to be the final harvest before I destroy the farm, I don't wanna replant everything. Oh, and if you're confused, let me explain. The cultivating enchant does not require you to farm that tool's specific crop. For example, I'm farming potatoes using the cactus tool, but the counter still goes up, and I intend to take full advantage of that. Because there is no way I'm going to farm 20 million mushrooms, 20 million cacti, and 20 million pumpkins, because those crops are painfully slow. And... We're finally done. Every single one of these farms is fully drained of water and all the crops are gone. Except for pumpkins, of course, because we're still gonna have to get rid of these. And now that all the preparations are complete, apart from that, it is time to destroy and rebuild everything. I just noticed that we missed a single pumpkin right here. Be gone. Oh. All right, now it's time.
Well, we're finally done. I seriously underestimated how long these farms are going to take. It took us basically two days to destroy and rebuild everything from scratch. We wanted an infinite sugarcane farm, which is why we went for three. For pumpkins, we obviously want enough for a contest, so that's why we went with two layers. But for potatoes and carrots, we just wanted two because uh, one looks boring. There is a contest in 30 minutes for carrots, pumpkins, and sugarcane. Only one layer of my carrot farm is ready for harvest, which should be enough for a contest. And both my pumpkin and sugarcane farms are full. But I'm not gonna be participating in this contest. Because it's 5 a.m. Yeah, my sleep schedule is completely ruined. Again. We're also planning to replace this glowstone with sea lanterns so that it matches the rest of the farms and to add lights to the melon farm because we don't have enough lights for the melons to grow. Anyways, I really need to rest so I'll start the farming grind tomorrow. And we are done with the melon. Now that both the melon farm and sleep are out of the way, I have a very important announcement. While building these farms, this happened. What? What? You're kidding, right? No way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no way! No way, dude! So, yeah. I finally have YouTube rank. All it took was a month of waiting and for me to complain, but I don't wanna talk about it. I finally have the rank, okay? Anyways, it's time for me to start grinding for the farming tools and there is a cocoa beans contest in 37 minutes. I'm gonna be prioritizing the tools that don't have cultivating eight before I start grinding everything to cultivating nine. And since my cocoa beans farm is infinite, I can just farm until it's time for the contest. So let me just get my cocoa chopper and the rest of my hose for that extra farming fortune. My chopper is currently at 4.3 million counter. I'm hoping to get at least 700k from harvesting the entire farm. And also my sack is empty, so I can tell how much enchanted cocoa beans I'm gonna get from this. Anyways, it's time to start. I haven't farmed cocoa beans in a while, so I'm not sure about the speed. I'm pretty sure it was 150 though, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm also going to disable players and enable blocks because I prefer this. I think if I walk backwards, it's going to be better because I don't miss a single one in the third layer. Anyways, I'm basically two thirds of the way through my farm. So after this contest, I'm probably going to be done. Oh, and if you've watched my Coco Chopper video, then you know that for some reason, Turbo Coco 3 is better than Turbo Coco 5. So yeah, unless they fix that enchant, then the enchant is still broken. Oh, and by the way, because the farms took two days to build, Derpy is already mayor and I'm getting 50% more skill XP, which means I'm gonna get 24 XP per block in my cocoa beans farm. Because I break three at a time and each one gives me eight, and that's 24. I don't remember my personal record for this, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat it. Because I already got 100k less than six minutes into this contest. Oh, and also planting the fourth layer was a complete waste of time because no matter what I try, I just don't reach it. So if you're going to build a cocoa beans farm, do the smart thing and only plant three layers. It's already enough of a pain to plant them manually. Don't give yourself more work like I did. Wait. Oh, cultivating it is only 5 million. For whatever reason, I thought it was 10 million, but nope, it's just 8 million and I already have it. So after this contest, I don't have to worry about cocoa beans for a while because I'm gonna have to focus on the fungi cutter and the cactus knife. I just finished farming my farm and the contest ended at the same exact time. From that, I got basically one million counter. I also got 5.6 thousand enchanted cocoa beans. I don't even know how many cookies those are. Anyways, I just claimed the first contest and I'm gonna need all the tickets I can get because I need 500 tickets to unlock farming 60. And that's not the only thing I need tickets for. I also need 450 to upgrade my extra farming drops chance. I'm pretty sure there is one more upgrade after this, so yeah. I'm gonna have to participate in every contest I can. There is one in 35 minutes for carrots, melons, and mushrooms. Now, I have two options. I can either use the fungi cutter in farm mushrooms the proper way, or I can add the replenish enchant to this 
and use it to farm carrots. And I don't really have to worry about buying the Replenish Enchant because I just farmed a lot of cocoa beans and I can easily craft it myself. Whenever I farm mushrooms, I have to really focus so that I don't miss a single mushroom and that just hurts my eyes. But for carrots, the hitbox is a lot larger and I don't actually have to focus while farming. There is the Replenish book. I'm honestly not too confident about getting gold because carrots are somewhat competitive, so I might actually need the carrot hoe in order to get gold. I'm not really after the gold medal itself, I just want the extra tickets from getting gold. I haven't farmed carrots since forever, and I really like farming carrots. I didn't actually know this, but they give less XP than cocoa beans. Actually, I think that's because I'm not using the proper tool for carrots. Let me just try with the carrot hoe, and I'm getting 9.1. That's actually a huge difference. My fungi cutter is currently at 660k, and I'm definitely not gonna get it to 1 million in this contest, but I do have two carrot layers, so I'm gonna farm both of them, and that's probably gonna give me somewhere around 1.3 million. And also, I just remembered that Derpy Bean Mayor means the auction house is closed, so Crafting that replenish book was the only way that I could get it. With seven minutes in the contest, I am sitting at a comfortable 7k over silver. Sure, it's not the 80k or so I would have if I was using the gas carrot hoe, but it's good enough for safe gold. I'm just gonna quickly check what contest is next, and there is a carrot contest again. Wheat is a lot slower compared to carrots, so I'm not gonna farm my second carrot layer. Instead, I'm gonna keep it for the next contest and then farm it again with the fungi cutter. That way, I would hit two birds with one stone. I would get my fungi cutter higher and I would participate in another contest. Oh my god, no, 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 please. No! I was trying to get rid of the dirt block, but I avoided my mushroom home. I'm just gonna use the tickets I got now to buy a mathematical hope blueprint. Wait, is it in its own thing? Oh, it's 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 separate. It's not in the mathematical hope blueprint. Uh, fungi cutter. Yay! I'm gonna have to reforge this, recombobulate it, and put the enchants on again, and then grind it to 20 million crops from zero. Harvesting five, because I can't get harvesting six right now. Oh, I just remembered something else. Farming for dummies. I can't get that, and even if I can, it's super expensive. Replenish. And finally, cultivating. There we go. I should have probably done this a lot earlier, but uh, I finally locked these tools in place. Anyways, there is half an hour left until the contest, so I'm just gonna farm some sugarcane until then because, uh, yes. I also changed my sugarcane farm design. I built the semi-AFK one, so I just have to find the spot. I think right here is good enough. Now I can just press my A key to move forward, and I just got cultivating two. And when I reach the end, I automatically move here, and I can press my S key to move backwards. So yeah, I don't actually have to do anything, and I just got cultivating three. And to make this even better, I can change my attack slash destroy button to, let's say, space. And then I can just set this to whatever. Now I can just hold my space bar and the S key, and I can farm. This is definitely going to make the grind a lot easier. Like, I don't actually have to pay attention when farming sugarcane anymore. But it still sucks that I lost a hoe with 1 million counter because that's a lot. And it was also recombobulated. Had farming for dummies. And turbo mushroom 5. All of those things combined are probably gonna cost me somewhere around 15 million coins at least. I just finished the first layer of my sugarcane farm and I have no way to get out. I actually finished it just in time for the carrot contest. Oh, and by the way, I got like 227k from that. So a harvest of the fall farm is gonna get me somewhere around 660k. I'm actually gonna disable the enchant glint because the tools look super clean without it. Look at them. They're beautiful. Cultivating 6 is actually 600k, so I'm definitely going to get it during this contest. And I just did. The lead that gold has over me keeps growing, so... I'm gonna use my gas carrot hoe until I secure gold and then switch back to the fungi cutter. I was really hoping to get all of my tools to cultivating aid today, but because of what happened, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Honestly, at this point, I would be happy to get just another tool to cultivating aid. All right, 
that contest is over. And the next one actually has mushrooms. Normally, I would farm between contests, but there's something I completely forgot to do. I actually forgot to place my minions, which is a huge waste because one of Derby's perks is to also double the minion output. I'm gonna use my clay minions because I don't really need farming XP anymore. I need fishing XP. And that's the last one. Actual fishing minions are way too expensive, so I'm just gonna use clay. It's also good for money, so that's pretty good. I actually have not farmed mushrooms at all since my mushrooms video. I just, I really hate this farm. But on the bright side, I can easily get gold in here, so that's just free tickets. And also having a custom texture pack like the one I have right now makes farming mushrooms a lot easier. Because you can easily tell what mode you're using, whether you're using the brown mushrooms mode or the red mushrooms. And I broke my personal record with a brand new tool. How? Anyways, by claiming this, I can do this. Turbo Mushrooms 1. I just need like 15 more of those books and I'll be done. Anyways, next contest is gonna have cocoa beans, melons, and potatoes. I'm probably gonna farm potatoes using the fungi cutter, which is almost at 1 million crops. But the next mushrooms contest is not happening for another three and a half hours. Hopefully that's long enough for the farm to grow again because it's super painfully slow. That's why I hate mushrooms. I really hate mushrooms. Why did I have to throw the fungi cutter out? I mean, on the bright side, at least I didn't throw my wheat hoe away, which is worth like 200 million coins. I have to fix my speed. Oh. I guess not. I missed a couple of seconds in the contest because of that, but it shouldn't really matter because it's just potatoes. I am super laggy though, so that might be a problem. I'm hoping to get at least 300k from a single layer of potatoes, and then I can harvest the second one to finally get this to cultivating seven. Maybe I underestimated how competitive potatoes are. It's been over five minutes of farming and I still can't get gold. In fact, the lead that gold has on me keeps growing. So I guess I have to use my potato hoe in order to secure gold, and then I'll switch back to my fungi cutter. It's actually kind of sad how much I've neglected this hoe, because it's the very first tool that I ever maxed out. But now I barely use it, because I don't really farm potatoes that much anymore. And there it is. Cultivating 7. Now I can stop focusing on my fungi cutter and move on to the cactus knife. And since it doesn't have replenish and I don't want to waste another replenish book, I'm not gonna farm potatoes. I'm not gonna farm cactus either because I really hate it. This crop is garbage for manual farming. That leaves me with two options. Mushrooms and good old sugarcane. You already know what I'm going to choose. And luckily for me, the next contest actually has sugarcane in it. So I can basically just go AFK for nearly an hour. Why is there a block missing here? What is this? All right, don't worry about where I got that block from, but I fixed it. Now it's time for me to take a little break because I'm super tired and being semi-AFK is basically taking a break. I did not stop farming at all. My cactus knife is currently at 1.8 million counter. And because sugarcane is extremely competitive, I was not able to get gold. But then I went back to my fungi cutter because it has replenish and uh, it's now at 2.2 million. And the farm is somewhat acceptable, I'm pretty sure. I just saw some weird red thing. But I don't know, I've been farming the whole day so I might be hallucinating. Anyways, after this contest, I'm gonna be able to upgrade my turbo enchant to tier three, which means um, less books to get to tier five. Yes, I'm hoping that this mushroom contest is normal because every single time I farmed mushrooms so far Something weird happens and also I found a way to farm without causing too much strain on my eyes Previously, I was focusing on my cursor Which means I had to focus on every single mushroom that I passed but now I just aim at the middle of the block look at the horizon and farm. All right, that contest has just ended, and once again, it was not a normal contest because I'm gold with 101,000 mushrooms, but the requirement for gold in this specific contest is 106,000 mushrooms. Anyhow, now I can claim that mushroom contest and do this again. Turbo Mushrooms 2. Just two more of those contests, and I'll have Turbo Mushrooms 3. My fungi cutter is almost halfway to cultivating eight, so I'm gonna work on that and then get this one to halfway to cultivating eight as well. Both of these tools are now halfway to cultivating eight, which means they're one eighth of the way to cultivating nine. But I am super tired right now. It's 2 a.m. and I need to rest. I've been farming for the entire day. 
I literally just woke up five minutes ago, but there's a mushrooms contest happening. You could probably already tell from my morning voice that I just woke up and I have to farm mushrooms. What a great start to my day. But on the bright side, after this contest, I'm gonna get all the books I need to upgrade my turbo enchant. Because yesterday, before I logged off, there was a mushrooms contest happening and I participated in that. And even though I'm like seven minutes late, I'm probably gonna get gold very easily because barely anyone farms mushrooms. And 6k just disappeared. I think I just have to get used to mushroom contests being weird. Alright, that contest just ended, which means I can just do this, and this, and finally this. Already back to Turbo Mushrooms 3. Four more contests after this one, and I'll have Turbo Mushrooms 4, and then eight contests after that, and I'll have Turbo Mushrooms 5. The next contest has cactus, melons, and nether warts. I can farm nether warts using my fungi cutter because it has replenish, but I'm definitely not gonna get gold. Even while using the proper tool, I have to focus during the contest or else I don't get gold. Melons are obviously out of the question because I'm focusing on the fungi cutter and the cactus knife for now, which leaves me with a single option. Cactus. Anyways, turns out when I was farming cactus in my video, I was farming it wrong. You're supposed to farm it like this with 400 speed. The design I copied is six blocks wide, so I thought we we're supposed to break them three by three. But no, you're supposed to break two by two and go at 400 speed. You just zoom across this side until you reach the end, and then you zoom across this side. I don't really know what to do with this because I can't reach it from this side. I can only reach a single block or I can farm from this side. There are two explanations to that, the first being I'm just an idiot and I'm doing it wrong again, or the second one is it's actually supposed to be harvested three blocks by three blocks. Either way, it's just cactus and I really don't care. I just wanted to share that information in case one of you guys wanted to build a cactus farm. If you do that, then don't make the same mistake as me and build it six blocks wide. I think the best is four blocks wide, because uh, you're not gonna have this weird thing going on. And I'm pretty sure this method of harvesting is a lot faster than the one I did in my cactus video. Remember when I said the XP you get from cactus is laughable? I wasn't lying. You get four XP per cactus block. Sure, you actually get eight XP because you break two blocks at once, but because you get absolutely no money from doing this, I don't think it's worth it. You're better off farming sugarcane or potatoes or anything else. There are only two other crops that are as bad as cactus or worse when it comes to farming XP. First being mushrooms, because mushrooms. And the second is netherworts, because they give absolutely no farming XP, they give alchemy XP. I just found a new problem with my harvesting method. I'm already done, and I still have 10 minutes left in the contest. I guess I can go back and harvest the ones I skipped, but this farming method is way too fast. Which means if I want to continue farming like this, I'm gonna have to add a second cactus layer. That's not gonna happen. Never. I'm already done with that again. I'm honestly not sure if I'm gonna get gold or not because there's over five minutes left in this contest. But while farming this cactus, I realized something. I'm missing out on a lot of XP. I don't have a god pod active. So let me just fix that. 1500 bits, don't mind if I do. There we go. Now I'm gonna get 20% more farming experience. Also, I'm pretty sure I just destroyed my cactus personal best. My previous record was 90,000, and now I'm at 123k, so I got an extra 30k. It's been like two minutes since I stopped farming, and the difference between gold and silver barely changed, so I think I'm safe. Next contest also has cactus, but this time there is another option, which is carrots, so I'm gonna use my fungi cutter. I got my cactus knife to 3.2 million from the sugarcane, and I'm hoping to get my fungi cutter to at least like 3.5 million from farming potatoes because I'm gonna be farming both layers. I actually got over a stack of enchanted baked potatoes yesterday. How is the contest not started yet? What? Oh, it's carrots. I'm so glad I noticed. I'm pretty sure they're more competitive than potatoes and I was about a minute late to the contest. So I might have to use my carrot hoe again just to secure gold. Move, really? I can tolerate almost anything and- Really? No, no, no. Wait, kick. They literally moved to be in my way at the last second. I can tolerate anything in Hypixel Skyblock, except when people stand in my way. I really can't stand that. Maybe opening my island was not a good idea after all. And I just finished farming both layers. I actually didn't know. I don't have a hole here. Let me just fix that. There we go. And luckily next contest does have mushrooms in it, so... 
I'm just gonna farm mushrooms again. I got my hoe to nearly 3.9 million. So if I get 110,000 mushrooms in this mushrooms, I'm gonna hit 4 million. And I'm pretty sure the next contest actually has sugarcane in it. And yes, it does. Which means I can just use my cactus knife after this contest for like one and a half hours. I will participate in a contest and hopefully get the cactus knife to 4 million as well. Also, because of the new sugarcane design, I actually ran out of movies to watch. So comment down your favorite movies, and if I haven't watched them, then I'll watch them. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. I was pretty surprised when I saw how many mushrooms there are, because I just harvested it when I woke up. Until I remembered that it's been three hours since that happened, and I've been farming ever since. It's been a while since that clip, and a lot has happened. Both of my tools are now nearly 5 million counter. Which means just one more contest on each one of them, and I'll have Cultivating 8. And there's actually a Cactus contest happening right now, with a Mushrooms contest happening right after it. But not only that, I also got enough XP for farming level 60. Actually, I'm 22% over the required amount, but I still didn't increase my level cap. I just need to do that, and I'll get it. But I can't buy farming 60 yet because I don't have the tickets. Also, I just thought of something. What if I fly while farming Cactus? If I do this, I can just move forward and farm the third row. Sure, it's probably faster if I go at 400 speed, but that was way too fast and I just got it. Cultivating 8. Now I just have to do that four more times on this single tool. I really hate this, why did I do this? Now it's time for the mushrooms. I'm like 40k away from cultivating 8 on this tool. But since mushrooms are super slow, it's probably gonna take around 8 minutes of farming. And also, I only need one more contest after this one to get my turbo enchant to tier 4. And there it is. Now that both of them have cultivating eight, I can move on to the rest of my tools. None of my axes have cultivating nine, but I don't have any of them on me right now. The way I'm going to get cultivating nine on all of my tools is I'm going to focus the one that is closest to cultivating nine. And right now, that's my nether wart hoe at 16.9 million. Only 3.1 million, and I'll have it at cultivating nine. I'm just gonna finish this contest first. And now I have to claim my contests to get enough tickets to upgrade my farming cap. I'm pretty sure these tickets are not enough, but with these, I definitely do have enough. All right, it's time. Farming 60. I got a million coins from that. That's some serious coin right there. I'm positioned 1719 out of nearly 11.7 million players. Why am I proud of that? That just shows how much of a no life I am. I'm gonna need basically the same amount of tickets if I want the next extra farming drops upgrade, which means I still have to participate in every single contest I can. And speaking of contests, the next one actually has nether words in it. Unfortunately, my nether words farm is not infinite, so I can't just keep farming nether words until the contest. But fortunately, this hoe already has replenish. So I'm just gonna farm carrots or potatoes actually because I just feel like farming potatoes right now until it's time for the contest. And since the contest is happening in over half an hour, I'm probably gonna get this to 17.5 million at least. The nether words contest has just started and I actually found a way to break every single nether word even though I'm in 1.8. You don't actually need the larger hitboxes, you just need to aim at the right spot. I don't bother with it too much, because even though I miss a couple of nether words, I can still get gold. I'm not sure at how many nether words I get in a single contest, I haven't farmed them in forever. But I'm hoping that it's somewhere around 400k, because that would mean I can already make it to 18 million counter. There we go, I just found the good spot, and now I'm breaking every single nether word. Also, I still haven't reforged my nether words hoe to the other reforge, I still have it on blessed because I don't know which one is better, so I just kept it on the one that I already had. Some of you might have noticed that I have a time thing on the top right corner of my screen. I enabled that so I don't miss contests because they start at the 15th minute of every hour. And as you can see, it's currently 2.19 a.m. That's right, everyone else is sleeping and I'm here farming netherworks. Yay. Anyways, it seems like I'm actually gonna get 18 million counter after this contest because it's been less than 10 minutes into the contest and I'm already at 200k. So at this rate, I'm gonna get over 400k at the end. And that's exactly what I just did. My counter is now at 18.1 million. If you think I'll go sleep, then uh, you are mistaken. 
there is a mushrooms contest in slightly over two and a half hours. And this contest is the last one I need to get the turbo enchant on my fungi cutter to tier four. But until then, there are two other contests. This one has potatoes, pumpkins, and sugarcane. And this one has cocoa beans, nether warts, and potatoes, which means I'm gonna keep farming until it's time for the mushrooms contest. I'm obviously going to use my nether warts hoe and I'm going to farm carrots this time because my first potato layer is still growing and I only have my second one. And as I showed you, the upcoming contest has potatoes. Then I'll just keep farming something else until it's time for this one, go back to farming nether warts, farm something else during these days, and then farm the mushrooms. It's been around two hours since that clip, but I have no time to chit chat. Because the nether warts contest has already started. I got my hoe to 19.6 million counters, so if I get another 400k in this contest, I'm gonna get cultivating nine. Oh my god, I just realized something. Whenever I farm warts, I do the opposite because I really like this sound. Too bad though, because I'm only like 15k away from getting cultivated night. What the? Why? It's 4.30 a.m. Who's calling me? Oh my god, there it is. Cultivating nine. I'm done with this tool. I still have two minutes left in the contest and if I stop farming, I'm definitely dropping down to silver because this is netherwards and it's super competitive. And if you're wondering who was calling, it's my dumb co-op. I, I just dropped down to silver. Well, if you're watching this, I just made it back to gold. I hope you're happy. Oh my God, I just dropped to silver, why? And the contest has ended. Now I just have to worry about this, 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 and finally this. And as you might have noticed, my melon dicer is only 1 million away from cultivating 9. So until it's time for the mushrooms contest, I'm gonna go farm melons. I actually have not farmed melons in a very long time, but my co-op has been farming melons and pumpkins like crazy. And that's why the counter on both the melon dicer and the pumpkin dicer is decently high. But I'm definitely not gonna get 1 million from a single harvest of my farm. Pumpkins are super bad for the counter because I would only get around 100k, so that's out of the question. And since I don't have replenished on my melon dicer, that leaves me with a single option. Good old sugarcane. If you thought using my fungi cutter and my cactus knife to farm sugarcane was cursed, then you clearly didn't watch my previous cultivating video because I farmed sugarcane with a pumpkin dicer. And this time, I'm doing it with a melon dicer. Anyways, the mushrooms contest has probably just started. Yep, there it is. Since normally, which is a word I use very cautiously when it comes to mushrooms, I only need around 60k to secure gold. So as soon as I hit that, I'm gonna go back to farming melons because I don't wanna waste my time on mushrooms. This way I can get the turbo mushrooms book I need and also get my melon dicer to cultivating nine. All right, that's good enough for me. But if I almost drop out of gold, I can always just fly up there and continue farming mushrooms. And there we go, cultivating nine. Yet another tool off of my list. Now I'm only down to two axes and four hoes. In time for the contest to end and for me to claim the book I need. With that book, I will now be able to craft Turbo Mushrooms 4. Boom, there it is. Now that I finally got it to Turbo Mushrooms 4, it's time to recombobulate it. But as I explained at the very beginning of this video, the money in my purse is not mine. I only have 2.8 million. However, I have been farming a lot and I think it would only be appropriate to use mushrooms to get the recombobulator. The red mushrooms are going to sell for 3.5 million. I still have 780 here and they are worth nearly 2 million. And the brown mushrooms are 920k. Second batch is 500k. And I also have this chest, which has a decent amount of mushrooms that I forgot to sell last time. Oh, this is 3 million, wow. And these are 750k. However, mushrooms take forever to sell. So I'm just gonna go sleep and claim all the money in the morning and recombobulate it. I actually got a lot done today. I got both the fungi cutter and the cactus knife to cultivating eight, and I got two tools to cultivating nine. But my grind is far from over. But as you can see, it's nearly 6 a.m. right now, and I need to rest. I'll continue grinding tomorrow. It is now 
the next morning. And just like yesterday, I literally just woke up like seven minutes ago. I barely know who I am, but I know one thing for sure. I don't have time to think because a mushrooms contest is about to start. Quickly before that starts, I'm just gonna continue what I was doing yesterday. That is actually a lot of money. I'm gonna set up a buy order for a recombobulator real quick because I'm going to save 100k? Whatever, I'm just gonna set up a buy order because I don't need it right now. When I woke up, I couldn't even tell what time it is. I looked at my phone, I saw that it was 1 p.m., but for some reason, my brain registered that at 3 p.m. I'm just gonna do what I did yesterday, where I farm only half my farm and then stop because I don't really need to farm the entire thing to secure gold because barely anyone farms mushrooms. I'm actually pretty curious about my position if it shows. Oh! I just noticed my collection in melons. 95.4 million. To be fair, the vast majority of that is thanks to minions, but I only had those minions up since Technoblade. Oh, and I'm still top 1000 in wheat collection. And the reason my collection is so low compared to the counter on my hoe, no, it's not because my co-op farmed wheat. Apparently, if you're like me and you're in a co-op, your collection gets divided by how many people there are in your co-op. I just said co-op like 10 times. And since there are two people in mine, my collection gets divided by two. I'm actually surprised this thing didn't fail. I guess I'm just gonna have to instant buy it. 6.7 million. Wait, what? 5.8 million. I saved nearly a million coins now. What happened? You know what? I can wait, no problem. <laughs> While I wait for that order to fill up, I'm not gonna farm. I just woke up, remember, so. I'm gonna go eat. Okay, the contest is soon. What am I looking at? Why? Well, that cursed abomination to the side, there is a sugarcane contest happening in 10 seconds. And my goal for today is to get at least two more tools to cultivate a nine. Those being my sugarcane hoe and my potato hoe because they have the highest counters. So let me just set my speed, 327. Can you not, please? Okay, out. I'm actually curious to see how much sugarcane I'm gonna get from my entire farm with my sugarcane hoe. Because so far, I've only been using my cactus knife or my fungi cutter. Okay, I think this farming method is actually slower than my normal farming method. And since this is a contest, I'm not gonna be AFK, so I'm just gonna use the old one. I am done. And I got slightly over 800k on my sugarcane hoe. Anyways, the contest that's starting in two minutes has potatoes in it, and so does the one after that. So I'm going to farm my first layer of potatoes for the first contest, stop farming potatoes, go back to farming sugarcane, until it's time for the second contest and farm my second layer. That was a lot to take in, I hope it made sense. And I also got 5.6 thousand enchanted sugar from that harvest, which is... 35 enchanted sugarcane. 1.8 million from an hour of farming. Whenever I farm potatoes, carrots, or wheat, I always get rid of this thing first. Can you please not get my way? I always farm this part first because once I do that, I can now just do this and I don't have to worry about those two blocks at the very end, especially over here. It's kind of annoying. Also, I think I might be able to reach 500k in this contest. After five minutes of farming, I had hit 125k. Multiply that by four and you have 500k in 20 minutes. And I actually did it. I actually went over 500k and I got 520k. The reason I'm excited is because this is my current personal record after the farming nerf. I think my previous highest record was 490k. Anyways, my hoe is kind of close to 15 million, so I'm gonna get this one to 15 million before I continue farming with the sugarcane hoe. Actually, never mind the potatoes, because I just realized this contest also has mushrooms. I only farmed it like one and a half hours ago, but it's already back up. Oh wait, that was three hours ago, never mind. Since I can get somewhere around 800k sugarcane per hour, it's gonna take me somewhere near three hours to get that tool to cultivate a nine. As for my potato hoe, I'm probably gonna get one million from a full harvest of my potato farm and nearly 1 million from a full harvest of my carrot farm. So yeah, it's probably doable to get both of those tools to cultivate a nine today. But anyways, my recombobulator order is actually filled. I'm also gonna set up one for a booster cookie. Oh, and the order actually filled. Anyways, I am here to recombobulate this guy to epic. Thank you, very cool. I only need two things to get my fungi cutter back to where it was. 
a turbo mushrooms four buck and five farming for dummies. Unfortunately, the auction house is still closed for another three days-ish, so getting the farming for dummies is impossible. But when it comes to the turbo enchant, I only need to participate in six more mushrooms contests and I'll be able to craft it. It might be hard to believe, but I took a break. Well, more of a blackout. I don't know what it is with mushroom contests, but whenever I wake up, they're the first thing that I do. And yes, I just said woke up because my quote unquote break was me falling to sleep. I was farming for a very long time. My sugarcane hoe is nearly at 19.4 million and my potato hoe is at 15.8 million. Well, it's not like I just flat out lost consciousness. That's a bit dramatic. It's more of like when you're in class and you're extremely bored, you can't even keep your eyes open. Yeah, that's what happened. Unfortunately, I also missed a mushrooms contest while I was sleeping, but I woke up just in time for this one, so that's pretty pog. Anyways, I just finished that contest, but before I go back to farming, I'm gonna take an eating break. I haven't eaten anything yet, apart from the first meal of the day. You could call it breakfast, but at the time that I ate it, I would call it lunch. Anyways, I'll see you in like, uh, five days, hours, weeks? Months? Alright, it's been like four hours since that. I ate, which was nice. And I also got both of my hoes to like 1,000 crops away from cultivating eight. It's nearly 5 a.m., like usual, no big deal. So let me just get cultivating nine on my sugarcane hoe. There it is. I'm not a psychopath, by the way. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. Time to quickly get it on the potato hoe, and I already did. I only have to grind for my cactus knife, my fungi cutter, my cocoa chopper, and my pumpkin dicer. I also managed to get four mushrooms contests today. Oh yeah, I need to turn this on. There we go, that's the first one, second one, third one, and the fourth one. And I'm pretty sure if I claim these contests, I'm gonna be able to upgrade my farm hand perk. This right here was the very first contest that I started the grind with. And since then, I have participated in 42 contests with the vast majority of them being gold. All right, I'm hoping this is enough and it's not. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to get my extra tickets. Hopefully this is enough and yes it is. And this time I'm going to need a thousand tickets. I think today wasn't too bad. I got two tools to cultivate 89 and I got half the contest I needed for Turbo Mushrooms 5. So I'm gonna call it a day. Remember the whole sleep thing? Yeah, forget about that. I once again made the mistake of checking which contest is next, and I noticed that the next contest has mushrooms in it, so I had to participate. I just realized something. I'm not really farming for gold when it comes to mushrooms. I'm farming for the enchant, so I can stop right now. I'm gonna get 10,000 mushrooms just to secure silver, and then I'll go sleep because I really couldn't care less about gold and mushrooms right now. The tickets would be nice down the line, but I'm sure I'm gonna participate in more contests during my grind. My very messed up sleeping schedule aside, I wanna check out the upcoming contests because there is one in like six minutes. And of course it has mushrooms. This must be some sort of curse. For the past three days, whenever I wake up, the first contest always has mushrooms. Anyways, let me just get my tools that are missing. My co-op locked off with the tools and uh, he's been offline for like seven hours. Ah. <laughs> Bruh. Don't worry though, I managed to get him online and now I have my fungi cutter that's inside my head. What the Anyways, the contest started, which means I have to continue farming mushrooms. This was the last thing I did yesterday and the first thing I'm doing today. But after this contest, I only need two more to fully max this thing out, apart from the farming for dummies. Last time I bought that, it was 1 million coins each. Sure, it was very expensive, but I was happy because I knew I wouldn't need them anymore. Little did I know, a couple of weeks later, I would void one of my tools and I would need them. Oh, and also, I am now number 1,240. Moving up in life. All right, there's a minute left in the contest, but I basically have safe gold. But on the topic of farming for dummies, my co-op has a single book and I'm gonna take it. I already asked his permission. I'm not just stealing that. Let me just apply it to get a single farming fortune. Also, for some reason, I'm not feeling it today. I just don't feel like spending eight hours farming. At least not right now. 
So I'm gonna take a short break, go play some Bed Wars, and then when I'm feeling it, I'm gonna come back to farming. There is no escape for me. Farming is eternal. Enough fun, time to continue grinding. And today's tool is going to be none other than the Pumpkin Dicer, because it has the highest counter at 14 million. As I explained, Pumpkins are very slow. I only get around 150k from harvesting the entire farm. So instead of farming pumpkins to level up my pumpkin dicer, I am instead going to be farming melons and sugarcane. I was also planning to farm cocoa beans, but then I remembered that I need to replenish for that. Plus the pumpkin dicer is gonna instantly break the wood, which is not very cool. Oh, would you look at that? There is a melons contest in five minutes and a sugarcane contest after that. So after this melon contest, I'm just gonna go basically AFK my sugarcane farm with my pumpkin dicer. Yes, even more cursed stuff. I'm hoping to get somewhere around 700K from a full harvest of my melon farm and then maybe another million while I spend an hour and a half farming sugarcane. It's been a while since that clip. And my axe is currently 50k away from cultivating nine. And since I have not farmed pumpkins at all in this video, I think it's only appropriate that I level it up by farming them. Sure, pumpkins are excellent for XP and even for money, they're not too bad. But since I don't need XP anymore at all, I'm already farming 60 and I'm not doing this for the money either, I didn't really have a reason to farm pumpkins because I just had better options to get my counter up. Which is pretty sad because if my potato hoe was my first hoe, my pumpkin dicer is my first proper tool ever. Some of the layers in my old pumpkin farm have been there before my co-op member even joined. And as you can see, it's currently 3 a.m. My last clip was at 6 p.m., which means I've been gone for nine hours. Don't freak out, I haven't been farming for nine hours. Just five. Yep, it took five hours of farming to get this thing from 14 million to where it is right now. Because of the way I decided to level up my tools, it's not gonna get easier over time. It's only gonna get harder, because I already leveled up all the tools that were near Cultivating 9. And there it is, cultivating nine. Now I can put this thing aside and focus on the last three of my tools. Anyways, I also participated in enough mushrooms contest to upgrade my enchant to tier five. I just have to combine everything. And apply it. There we go. Almost back to its full glory. Auction house is still closed for another day, so I'll soon be able to max it out. Because I barely used any of these tools since getting cultivating eight, they're all still at five million. Well, not really. My cocoa chopper is currently at 6.2 million and my fungi cutter is at six million. Though the cactus knife is still at five million. That's a combined 43 million crops that I need to level them up. I still have a lot of grinding ahead of me, but it's currently 3 a.m. and I'm really tired, honestly. I don't want to stay up till 6 a.m. again, so I'll just continue later tomorrow. Yeah, I just skipped a day. But that's because I simply did not farm. I had realized that I was farming for five days straight non-stop, from the moment that I opened my eyes till the moment that I closed them. I just couldn't do it anymore. So I took a break. But I don't want to prolong this grind any longer, so... It's time to continue. Simply because I did not farm, that does not mean that my tools weren't used. My co-op actually farmed and he got the Cocoa Chopper to 8.1 million. Thanks to that, it's possible for me to get it to cultivating nine in a single day. Also, yesterday was the day when the giveaways ended, which is why I now only have five million. And the auction house is back, which means I can get the remaining farming for dummies. I'm hoping that five million is enough to afford four of them at least. They're up to... Two mil? Last time they were at one mil. How, how, why? But I don't have a choice, so... Oh, I, I can't afford the third book. I'll just sell more mushrooms, I guess. All right, that just sold. Now it goes down in price? Are you kidding me? I guess this is what I get for being too quick. It is officially done. The Cocoa Chopper is an axe, but unlike my Pumpkin Dicer, this one has Replenish because I need Replenish in order to farm Cocoa Beans, which means 
I can also use an axe to farm my carrots and potatoes. The video just got 20 times more cursed, but I can already hear people saying, what's the point? The cocoa beans farm is more than infinite. It, it's a black hole. Well, it's pretty simple. When farming cocoa beans, I get around 380k per 20 minutes. But if I farm carrots or potatoes, even while using the wrong tools, I'm gonna get around 530 per 20 minutes. That's a 50k difference or 150k per hour. So yeah, it's gonna save me a lot of time. I can use this single tool to farm almost every single crop that I have. I can use it to farm mushrooms, cocoa beans, wheat, melons, nether warts, carrots, potatoes, pumpkins, and sugarcane as well. I can't use it to farm cactus though, because cactus. Anyways, that means I need a single tool for the entire day. I can use it to participate in any upcoming contest with a guaranteed silver medal at least. I can even use it to get golden mushrooms, cocoa beans, wheat, melons, and maybe even pumpkins. Anyways, I have a counter to level up. I actually did not realize how cursed it would be to farm carrots with an axe. I have a little semi-AFK method to show you for farming carrots. Same with potatoes, of course. If you just aim at like the center and then do this, you can basically semi-AFK this even with this design. I know there is an actual proper design for semi-AFK when it comes to carrots and potatoes, but since I already have this built, might as well. You can change your left click key to once again anything, and then you can farm with only your keyboard. When you're at the end, you can just press your left key and keep doing it. Actually, never mind everything I just said about potatoes and carrots. I have just participated in a potato contest and I barely got 245k. The reason is pretty simple once I thought about it. There is an enchant that hoes use that axes cannot use. Harvesting. Harvesting 6 gives you 75 extra farming fortune, and also the farming for dummies don't work on axes for some reason. So yeah, you get a lot less farming fortune using axes. So I guess I'm gonna have to give up on farming potatoes and carrots, and stick to farming cocoa beans and melons. Talking about harvesting actually reminded me that I'm also missing it on my fungi cutter. So let me just get one and there are 750,000 coins. Sure, it's expensive, but it's a lot cheaper than farming for dummies. There we go. Now it is maxed out. That means I definitely could have gotten more from carrots and potatoes, but my theory on harvesting being a critical enchant still stands. There is another potato contest in about three hours, so I'll participate in that as well with the elephant pet this time and see how big of a difference that makes. This very epic gamer is giving me 69 million coins, but once again, because I don't take contraband, I'm gonna give this away on my Discord. There will probably be seven winners for this, each one taking 10 million coins. I'm gonna add a million coins of my own just to make things fair. Oh, and uh, don't worry, those coins are legal. Anyways, it's now been over three hours and I have some news. I managed to get gold in a potato contest with my Cocoa Chopper. It's usually over 400k for gold in potatoes, but this time it was only 360k, so that's why I managed to do it. I was wrong, I only got 380k, which is a lot less than what I said I would get. But, melons are by far the best. I got over 520k in 20 minutes. Oh, and uh, my Cocoa Chopper is currently at 11.6 million, so just another 8.5 and I'll be done. I don't even remember what I was talking about in my last clip but I am currently less than 2,000 crops away from cultivating nine. And there it is. That marks the ninth max tool. Only two more to go. But since the counter on both of them is super low, it's gonna take me three days to level both of them up. I kinda have a headache right now and it's 4 a.m. so I'm just gonna go to sleep and continue grinding tomorrow. The headache I just talked about like 10 seconds ago got pretty bad the next day. I woke up with an awful migraine. But luckily for me, farming requires next to no brain activity, so I was able to just chill and farm for three days. As I said, I had a pretty bad migraine, so I didn't want to talk because that would just make it worse. So let me just give you a quick recap of what happened. I spent the first day getting both tools to 10 million counter.
And to make that easier on myself, I added the replenish enchant on my cactus knife, because if I do it with sugarcane only, it's gonna take days. Then I spent the next day getting my fungi cutter to 20 million counter. And I also took some more contraband for the giveaway. And on the third day, I got my cactus knife to cultivating nine. And I also took an extra stack of Nugent Netherwort. I'm just gonna sell this Netherwort for 4.9 million, which gets me 18 million coins for the giveaway. I'm actually gonna have three giveaways now. The first is going to be for the Armor and the Flower of Truth. The second one is going to be for the Baby Yeti. And finally, the third one, with eight winners getting 10 million coins each. Well then, I did it. I got every single farming tool there is to cultivate a nine. But I'm not done yet. And even though I didn't really care about contests in those three days, I still participated in a lot of them. I'm talking about 34 contests. In total, I participated in 73 contests. Anyways, it's time to claim all of these tickets. These tickets are unfortunately not enough, but that's not an issue because I have 214 gold medals to spend. Actually, I can get even more, but that's not the point because I can convert each gold medal to eight tickets. All right, maybe that's enough. And yes, it is. I maxed it out. How much is a thousand tickets? It's 18 million coins. I just spent 18 million coins on that. Oh, and by the way, I got quite a lot of farming XP to the point where I am now in the top 900. Oh, and I got like three carpentry levels since I started. And now it's the moment of truth. How much money did I make? In this chest, I have all the mushrooms that I have left. I should have over a double chest of each type of mushroom, but since I sold most of them to upgrade my fungi cutter, I'm only left with a couple of stacks. But anyways, the red mushrooms are gonna get me 3.5 million coins. The brown mushrooms are gonna be a lot cheaper at 1.1 million coins. That's not too bad. And in the second chest, I have my wheat, melons, nether warts, and the couple polished pumpkins I got. I had this wheat here since forever, so I'm not gonna count it in. Pumpkins are definitely going to be the cheapest at 770k for six polished pumpkins. That's a really good price. Netherwords is gonna get me 5.3 million. I'm honestly expecting quite a lot of money from the melons and they are worth 22.6 million coins. And in the last chest, is a fortune. You can clearly tell that I focused a lot on potatoes, carrots, and sugarcane. The enchanted golden carrots are gonna get me 22.6 million coins, just like the melons. And the sugarcane is 21.3 million. That is surprising. I was not expecting this many coins from the sugarcane. And you guys probably know the deal with potatoes and cookies. Now I just have to craft these cookies into replenish books to sell them for a lot more. Each replenish book is worth somewhere around 1.2 million. So after selling all of these, I'm gonna be setting around 12 million coins. Now it's time for the real pay. I'm gonna have to craft all of these potatoes into hot potato books, but I just wanna see how much they're worth as potatoes. 27.3 million. A single enchanted baked potato goes for 28.8 million, but a single hot potato book goes for 31.4 million. It might seem like a small difference, but when we're talking in these big numbers, those are millions of coins. So I'm just gonna spend the next half an hour or so crafting all of these potatoes to hot potato books and then setting up a sell offer. I have just reached my bizarre order limit, meaning I'm gonna have to claim the stuff that's sold if I wanna set up new orders. All of my sugar cane sold, so I'm just gonna claim that. Same with the nether warts, the pumpkins. As for the rest, I'm just gonna claim the coins and then cancel the orders and set them back up again. I just need to claim that. And I'm done. There's only a single book left, but once this sells, I'm gonna be at 200 million coins, which means I got 120 million coins so far. But there is one more thing I can sell. I still have all of the turbo enchants from those contests. I'm gonna combine everything and then sell it. Well, that took a while, but everything has now sold for a total of basically seven million coins. Let me just claim it. 
if I had sold the 1500 tickets I used to upgrade that perk, I would have made 26 millions just from the tickets. So in total, I could have made somewhere around 30 million coins just from the contests alone. That's a lot of coins. But anyways, from basically 10 days of constant farming, I have made a total of 126 million coins. Actually, somewhere around 130 because I sold a lot of my mushrooms. I could have made a lot more than that if I used the proper tools and I farmed the most profitable crops. Like in other words, I barely farmed in other words. But none of that matters because the grind is finally over for now. Because if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll get one of those tools to cultivating 10. That's right, 100 million crops. Why do I do this to myself? In the two weeks it took me to grind for this video, a lot happened. I got YouTube rank and farming 60 and like three carpentry levels. And I am now in the top 900 farmers on the server. I rebuilt like one third of my farms and I got all of my tools to cultivating nine. But the craziest thing of all of that is that you watched till the very end. So thank you so much. And for that, I have a surprise for you. I'm gonna be giving away five of my capes on my Discord, but it's not gonna be a normal giveaway. Only the people that watch till the very end will be able to win. Everyone can participate, but only you can win. Because I'm gonna set a password that I'm gonna say right now, somewhere on the screen. And unless the winner knows the password, I'm not gonna give them the cape. Anyways, that's basically it for this video. So thank you so much for watching gamers and thank you to my channel members. And I'll see you gamers later. Peace.